Hello, my name is John Lee and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting. Alpha Training and Consulting is a company that prepares students for ASQ certification through their online training program. Today we're going to talk about the ASQ CQT uh, certification. I love ASQ certifications. As you can see, I've passed most of the ASQ certification exams. I'm also Lean Bronze certified and I'm also a Chingo Award winning author. One of my favorite certifications is the CQT, Certified Quality Technician. It's a great certification that will help you in your career, help you get promoted and maintain your job, etc. And there's a lot of information in there that's very valuable. And so what we're going to do to, today is go over the requirements that you must meet to take the ASQ CQT exam. So let's go to the ASQ website and learn more about these requirements. So here we are at the ASQ website and notice candidates must have worked in a full-time paid role. Uh, paid intern co-ops or any other coursework cannot be applied toward the work experience requirement. So you must have experience in a full-time paid role. Candidates must have at least four years of higher education and or work experience in one of the more the areas of the certified quality technician body of knowledge. Okay, and uh, most jobs, you know, have something to do with quality, and quality is definitely what uh, the certified quality technician body of knowledge is all about. So with that in mind, uh, let's read some of the requirements. First of all, four years. So if you have no higher education, you have to have four years experience. That's what it's telling you. So maximum four years of working experience in some element of the body of knowledge. Now, candidates who, now we can subtract from that four years based on education. Candidates who have completed a degree from a college, university, or technical school with accreditation as accepted by ASQ will have part of the four-year experience requirement waived. So certification through the quality technology program of a community college or vocational school, you can waive one year. Okay, so again, a certification through a community college or vocational school, you can take one year off. So that would be three years experience plus uh, your certification. Associate degrees, two years are waived. So if you have an associate degree, you only need two years of experience and the associate's degree. If you have a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate's degree, three of those four years are waived. So if you have a master's, uh, doctorate, bachelor's, you only need one year of work experience. So there you go. Let's just summarize. You have a certification through a community college. Uh, then you have to have three years in that certification. You have an associate's degree, uh, two years plus your associate's degree. If you have a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate, you only need one year experience and, uh, and the degree, the bachelor's, master's, or doctorate's degree. So that's the requirement that you must meet to sit for the ASQ certification exam. Congratulations, you have completed this video. Hopefully you have learned something new that will help you prepare for that certification exam. If you have any questions, please contact me and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.